Bike thefts happen all over the Front Range, and we rarely ever see anyone arrested for them. So the picture here behind me shows employees at the Stanley Marketplace in Aurora taking down a man believed to have stolen more than 100 bicycles in the metro. Denver 7's Patrick Fraz walks us through how all this went down. Great outcome to what we've been investigating for months. That's 27-year-old Alex Jackson you see on the ground there, being apprehended by three men, none of whom are cops. And my instinct was just run like hell, so that's what I did. Rami Roseo says she ran after Jackson last Thursday after an employee of hers caught him stealing a bike at Stanley Marketplace in Aurora. As recent as like four days before that, two of our employees had had their bikes stolen. So it was top of mind for everybody. As Ramey chased Jackson, he struggled to get on the bike and started leaving critical evidence behind. He sort of turned and twisted a little bit, dropped his backpack, dropped the bolt cutters, which I picked both of them up and said, what well, you know, what are you going to do now? I've got your backpack. That's when eventually several other people were able to grab Jackson and throw him to the ground. They kept him there until security and police arrived. I mean, it takes a village. It wasn't just one person that made it happen. It was it was all of us. Turns out Jackson isn't just wanted for stealing one bike. Aurora police believe he may be responsible for the theft of more than 100 other bikes in the area. He's usually pretty quick. He usually goes and carries bolt cutters, cuts the lock and he's on a bike and he's and he's gone quickly. Jackson was known to police for months, but they had not been able to identify him. Agent Matthew Longshore is just thankful he's been caught regardless of how it happened. We're very thankful for the astute community members that saw this happening. Uh, we're able to chase this guy down uh, and safely hold him until we were able to quickly get there. For bicyclists like Carl, it means having one less person to worry about, at least for now. People need to be aware and hopefully people will feel lousy about being theft thieves of bikes because they're such great transportation and recreation. Since that arrest last week, multiple people have come forward saying that their bike was also stolen from this area. If yours was too and you have not reported it to police, make sure you do so. Jackson is facing a larceny charge, but that could soon change once he's officially connected to more of these cases. He also has an outstanding warrant for trespassing. In Aurora, I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 7. To prevent theft or at least slow down the thieves, Aurora police recommend you have a thick cage lock that's harder for criminals to cut with than with just a pair of bolt cutters.